The highest spot on Earth is not Mount Everest, your book says. It's something else. What is it? Uh, first, it's true, not because my book says it, but simply because it's true. <laughs> okay, let's want to clarify that. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, I mean, Earth, to the astrophysicist, we don't really care much about sea level. No. If you want to be high, you're measuring your distance from the center of the Earth. From the very center of the Earth. Is that different from the center? <laughs> I, I'm trying okay, to give it up. the I'm very I'm center of the Earth. I'm, I don't know how many centers you know of. And, <laughs> okay, the very center of the Earth. The really very, very center yes. of the Earth. Yeah. Uh, so you want to find the farthest point from that center. And it turns out sea level at the equator is farther away from the center of the Earth than sea level near the poles. It has nothing to do with global warming and melting of the ice caps. Why is that? Because Earth, we know it spins once a day. Yes, thank you. Three people know that how long a day last year. Good for row number two. They're <laughs> off to a great start. <laughs> so, uh, so, so you spin. You know, when you spin pizza dough, it kind of flattens out. Yeah. It gets wider in the middle. and So... Earth, throughout its life, even when it formed, it was spinning, and it got a little wider at the equator than it does at the poles. So it's not actually a sphere. It's, an, it's oblate, and officially it's an oblate spheroid. That's what we call it. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than above the equator. A little chubbier. A little chubbier. Yeah. Chubby is a good word. It's like pear-shaped. Yeah. So it turns out the pear-shapedness is bigger than the height of Mount Everest above sea level. I, uh, I think I can smell shite. <laughs> yes, I can definitely smell shite. <laughs> there's a saying in science, extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. So I am now going to make a wild, way out, extraordinary claim. The world is round. See, it looks like a table or a board. Now, once in a while, you might see mountains or hills, but those are just like little bumps on what looks like a flat earth. Well, here's what happened. People noticed that the place that we seem to be living would every now and then cast a shadow on the moon. And when it did, that shadow was always round. Now, the only shape we know of that always casts a round shadow is a ball. It's our curvature of the Earth horizon model of science. And this blue stuff is like the ocean. And this boat, well, it's like, like a boat. Anyway, watch <clears throat> as ships sail away. They don't disappear all at once. Now, first, the bottom will disappear. See, the bottom of the ship is gone. Now we can see midway up, and then the whole thing disappears. Now, ships came back. They didn't fall off a table. So people realized that the world is curved. I mean, it's a big curve, but it's curved. So the process of testing claims, the world is flat, the world is round, is what we call science. Now, if you have a claim that can't be tested, that's what we call pseudoscience. The difference between pseudoscience and regular science is whether or not you can test it. The flat earth, well, that didn't stand up to tests. The round earth did. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. The world is round. I'm out of here. Bill. Well, that's definitely shite. <laughs>
million trillion million 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 billion four hundred billion suns billion trillion million billion trillions of orbiting snowballs billion 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 trillions million 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 billion billion million million billion 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 million million billion 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 million 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 billion million 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 billion billion four billion year old tree ends of billion I have trillions, billions, billion, trillions, billion, 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 billions, billion, 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 trillion, millions, million, million, millions, million, billion, 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 billions, million, billions, billion, billion, millions, million, million, millions, billion, billion years, hundred million. Took nature hundreds of millions of years to evolve a bacterium and billions of years to make a grasshopper. Shite. Oh yes, that's shite.